This here is the Zenger Super Mini. It's a small 10,000 milliamp hour battery that has more than enough power to charge your smartphone twice actually before depleting the internal battery here. And while I do carry this round in my bag pretty much everywhere I go to make sure I have power just in case I'm using my devices a little bit too much, something like this really isn't enough if you're at home and the power goes out. If that happens to you, you'll want a battery system that's a little bit larger with more power and more capacity as well. Something along the lines of the new Zenger Superbase V. Home backup systems really aren't anything new, but the Superbase V sports an innovative modular design and also the world's first commercially available semi-solid state battery system as well. For this video, we've actually partnered with Zenger to give you a first look at the Superbase V, which made its debut at IFA 2022. Right off the bat, you're gonna notice that the design of the Zenger Superbase V is a little bit different than everything else that's currently on the market. Zenger's put in a lot of work on the design here to deliver a modular power system that's easy to use while you're at home, or even if you wanna pack it up and take it with you in your RV or even a camper van for a long weekend adventure. Now, rather than having to permanently mount the power system to the wall in your garage in order to have it set up in your house, the Superbase V system features a modular design that's actually stackable, allowing the different modules to be plugged in one to another through integrated power ports on the top and bottom of each one of these units. This means that you can connect all of the units together with a single cable with up to four of the satellite batteries. The clean setup takes seconds to assemble and also take apart as well. Since these modules are quite heavy at 130 pounds for the base unit and up to 100 pounds for the satellite batteries, Zenger's actually built in a motorized wheel that activates when you pull out the handle from that base unit, making this one of the most portable power systems that I've ever seen. As for the semi-solid state batteries that I mentioned at the beginning, Zenger has incorporated a new hybrid electrolyte NMC cell here. This new technology offers an improvement of 42% energy storage compared to traditional LFP batteries, while also delivering better safety as well compared to the LFP batteries and also a traditional NMC battery as well. On top of that, it simply allows these units to be a lot more energy dense when compared to anything else that's on the market. Now, as you can imagine, a battery system like this has quite an extensive spec sheet, but I'm going to only highlight some of the main points. The base unit offers up to 6,438 watt hours of capacity thanks to its semi-solid state battery chemistry with up to 1,500 charge cycles. And if you're really not sure how long that's going to last you, it essentially means you will be able to charge and discharge this unit for a little more than four years every single day. And at that point, you'll still have 80% of the original battery capacity. If you choose to go with the traditional lithium ion phosphate battery, the capacity drops down to 4,608 watt hours, but the life cycle actually doubles, which honestly is quite impressive. Regardless of which one you go with, whether it's the semi-solid state battery or the traditional LFP batteries, the base unit acts as a zero downtime UPS, which means all of your important electronics that you have plugged into the unit will continue to have power just in case of an unexpected blackout in your house. The built-in inverter delivers up to 3,600 watts at 120 volts, but bumps up to 3,800 watts with its 240 volt outlet. You also get DC power over the standard car outlet, two DC 5521 ports, and an Anderson port as well. And if you are looking to charge your laptop, smartphone, tablet, or any other portable electronics, the device also has four USB-C ports, two of which actually support 100 watt power delivery, and then an additional two USB-A ports as well if you have older devices or just older cables to plug in. When it comes to charging the Super Base V, you actually have quite a few options as well, starting with 1800 watts AC power at 120 volts or 3600 watts at 240 volts, and of course, 3000 watts of solar input as well. Or there's the traditional 12 volt car charger with an adapter as well, but that's definitely going to take some time. But in addition to those base units, you have the satellite batteries as well, offering the same 6,438 watt hours and 4,608 watt hour capacities for the semi-solid state batteries and the traditional lithium ion phosphate cells as well. The satellite batteries don't have the same built-in inverter as that base unit does, but they do offer 12 volt DC car outlets, an Anderson port, and also an XT90 connector as well. Each of the base units can be daisy chained with up to four satellite batteries delivering a total capacity of 32 kilowatt hours. But 
If that's simply not enough storage capacity for your battery backup system, you can actually double things up by running two complete systems in parallel for a total of 64 kilowatt hours of capacity. To do this, you'll need Zenger's smart home panel, which helps you connect the Superbase V battery backup system to your home's electrical panel and is even capable of delivering level two charging to two electric vehicles at once. And to put all of that into perspective, based on our average daily power consumption in our house, the full system capacity of 64 kilowatt hours would be more than enough to give us four full days of uninterrupted power in case of a blackout, which honestly is pretty amazing when you consider that your neighbors are gonna be sitting in the dark. If you are thinking about picking up the Super Base V for your home backup needs, I do recommend checking out the Early Bird Special for the best deal possible with the semi solid state battery Super Base V6400 going for $3,799. And three of the backup battery systems, the B6400 satellite batteries, going for $9,999. But if you are looking for the cheapest option possible, you can actually go with the lithium ion phosphate batteries starting at $2,499 for the base unit or picking up three of the satellite batteries for $5,999. For more details, make sure you check out zenger.com or check out the link in the video description. And also make sure you jump into the comments and let me know what you think of the new Zenger Super Base V. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.